today's video, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-install ng Chrome extensions using Android phones. So without further ado, let's get started. So alam ko naman guys na ilan sa mga students na magtitake ng online school ngayon or online classes is phones lang yung gagamitin or yung kanilang mga Android phone. So paano nga ba mag-install ng Chrome extension sa ating phones? So first guys, kailangan natin ng app which is yung Kiwi Browser. And itong Kiwi Browser na to guys, ito lang yung kaisa-isang app sa Play Store na nagsusuport ng Chrome extensions. So... I-download nyo lang yan, app na yan guys, and after that, i-open nyo lang siya, and makikita nyo na doon yung mismong search bar sa browser. So, bago pala tayo magsimula guys, i-share ko lang sa inyo na hindi nyo pwedeng i-add sa Chrome yung mga Chrome extensions using yung typical na Google Chrome kasi hindi niya sinusupport yung Google Chrome extensions doon sa mismong browser ng Google. So, kailangan nyo talagang i-install tong Kiwi Browser, guys. So, kahit anong try nyo doon, guys, sa Google Chrome, hindi niya masusupport yung Chrome extensions. And yung papakita niya lang sa inyo, guys, once a sinerge nyo doon, yung Google or yung Chrome Web Store is yung mga ratings or yung mga related apps lang, pero hindi nyo siya pwede i-add sa inyong mga Chrome. So, Without further ado, tuturo ko na sa inyo yung step-by-step -step process kung paano mag-install and paano mag-add sa Chrome ng mga Chrome extensions and i-share ko din sa inyo yung mga best Chrome extensions na alam ko for study and productivity app. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, pagka-download na pagka-download nyo ng Kiwi Browser, guys, is rerekta nga sa inyo yung parang search bar doon and then, i-search nyo lang doon yung Chrome Web Store. And, makikita nyo na doon yung different na mga Chrome extensions na ino-offer nila. So, first guys, is i-open nyo lang yung Play Store. And then, i-search nyo lang doon yung Kiwi Browser. So, yung Kiwi Browser, guys, is a fast browser for Android with extension support. Kaya ito na agad yung nire-recommend natin when it comes to extension support for Chrome sa ating mga Android phones. And then, i-click lang natin yung install. And while waiting, guys, tingnan muna natin yung kanyang mga features. So, sabi dito, browse fast and trusted by 10,000 plus active users. Protect yourself from trackers and pop-ups. Night mode. And you can move the address bar to the bottom, translate any page into 60 plus language, save time with parallel downloads, secret browsing, and stay incognito. Once na install nyo na siya guys, is i-click nyo lang yung open, and then automatically, makikita nyo na agad yung search bar. So i-click nyo lang yon and then i-search nyo yung Chrome Web Store. So, once na makita nyo na yung result ng Chrome Web Store, guys, as i-click nyo lang siya and automatically makikita nyo na yung different Chrome extensions na ina-offer dyan sa ating screen. So, like for example, guys, gusto natin i-add sa ating Google Chrome extensions itong Grammarly for Chrome. So, basically, I-click lang natin yung Add to Chrome sa my upper right corner. And after that guys, as may lalabas na Add Grammarly for Chrome, it can read and change all your data on a website you visit, display notification, and communicate with your operating. So, i-click nyo lang yung OK. And then, automatically guys, is naka-add na siya sa inyong Chrome extension. So, malalaman nyo guys na naka to Chrome na siya pag may lumabas na ganyan and i-open lang natin. And automatically, mara-redirect kayo sa kanilang page which is dito. So, may makikita kayo dyan guys na new. 
So, i-click nyo lang yan. So, may choices kayo dyan, guys, para mag-upload kayo ng file nyo. Galing sa inyong computer, like for example, may pinagawa yung prof nyo na reaction paper, evaluation paper, or anything na related sa inyong mga essays, is pwede nyo siyang gawin dyan. And super nakakatulong siya for better grammar, sentence, and tone and delivery. So, perfect talaga to sa mga students na kagaya natin. So, that's it for this tutorial. So, first na Chrome extension na i-share ko sa inyo guys is yung Grammarly. So, yung Grammarly guys is hini-help niya tayo para sa ating mga essays, mga reaction paper, paragraphs, or kahit ano na related sa ating mga grammar or spelling. So, kung kayo yung isa sa mga nakukonsyos lagi sa mga grammar or yung mga words na ginagamit nyo pag gumagawa kayo ng essays or pag gumagawa kayo ng kahit anong parang paperworks related na kailangan talaga is accurate yung mga words na ginagamit is mara-recommend ko sa inyo tong grammar. And next guys is to do this. So yung to do this guys is hini-help nito tayo na ma-organize yung work and life natin. So like for example, dito sa to do this guys is pwede kayong mag-add ng website as task and pwede din yung planuhin yung araw nyo or yung mga schedules nyo and all and then, pwede din kayo mag-complete ng task from the browser. Like, for example, may sinan sa inyong article yung teacher nyo, is pwede nyo siyang i-complete via this to-do list. So, parang sticky note siya or parang to-do list lang din siya na once na natapos nyo na yung particular task is i-check nyo lang siya. So, next is momentum. So, itong momentum, guys, is uh, meron siyang, guys, na ano, new inspirational photo and quote each day. So, Every day, guys, is nababago ng nababago yung mga quotes doon para sa ating motivational eme, ganon. So, yan. And set a daily goal, focus and attention. Dahil dito sa app na to, guys, is lagi nyo tinatanong kung ano yung focus natin for that day. So, pwede nyo doon i-type and once na-accomplish nyo na yung focus nyo for that day, is pwede nyo siyang check. And then, yan. Keep track of task big to-do list. So, itong app na to, guys, is hindi lang siya for motivational, for calmness, and also pwede din siya for to-do list. Makikita din natin dito, guys, yung weather and forecast. And nakalagay dito sa kanyang overview, replace new tab page with the personal dashboard featuring to-do, weather, and inspiration. So, isa to sa pinaka the best na Chrome extensions for me. Next is Google Dictionary. So, itong Google Dictionary na to, guys, feeling ko magiging helpful to para sa mga mga malalalim na words na encounter natin pag nagbabasa tayo. So, sabi dito, with this extension, you can double-click any word to view its definition in a small pop-up bubble. Number two, view the complete definitions of any word or phrase using the toolbar dictionary. And number three, store a history of words you've look up so you can practice them later. So, talaga namang hindi niya lang hahanapin yung meaning. Talaga, i-compile niya yung mga words na nakita niya yung mga meaning para ma-familiarize mo. Yun. So, next guys is Viva Highlighter for PDF and Web. So, para sa akin guys, isa to sa mga best highlighter na Chrome extension kasi mahilig talaga ako mag-highlights and parang I can't live without highlights, you know. So, yan. Sabi dito, with Riva Highlighter, you can highlight websites and PDFs with multiple colors and revisit them with a single click. Number two, organize your highlights into folder and subfolder. Number three, create citations automatically for your highlights. And number four, auto-sync to cloud, access your highlights anywhere. So, yun. Kagandahan din yun, guys para sa ating mga students para mas mabilis natin makikita kung ano yung mga hina-highlights natin and dito kagandahan is pwede kang mag-create ng mga citations automatically for your highlights. So next guys is Cite This For Me or Websiter. So itong app na to guys or itong Chrome extensions na to guys is automatically create website citations in the APA, MLH, Kago, or Harvard referencing styles at the click of the button. Maganda to guys for our research para hindi na tayo mahirapang mag 
lagay ng mga citations and all sa ating mga RRL. So next guys is itong focus to do Pomodoro timer and to do list. So dito guys is it brings Pomodoro techniques and to do list into one place. You can capture and organize tasks into your to do list, start focus timer and focus on work and study. Set reminders for important tasks and errands. So it's the ultimate app for managing tasks, reminders, list, calendars, events, grocery list, checklist, and helping you focus on work and study and tracking your working hours. So, maganda dito guys is, itong Pomodoro technique na to guys is, I don't know kung ito ba yung 25 minutes na tuloy-tuloy kang mag-work or tuloy-tuloy kang mag-study and may 10 to 15 minutes break ata yun. Ayun natin yung Pomodoro technique. So, yun. Maganda yun guys pag nag-aaral para nagkakaroon tayo ng breaks doon sa mga study time kasi mahirap mag-focus ng dire-direcho so hindi naman ganun kahaba yung retention span ng tao para makapag aral siya ng tuloy-tuloy ng 1 to 2 hours na walang pahinga so yeah. take a break guys so next guys and lastly is itong co-feelings so kung alam nito guys ito ay hindi study related or ito ay hindi work related kundi ito ay mental health related dahil sobrang mahalaga din nito para sa ating mga students para matrack natin yung feelings natin everyday, yung mood natin and at the same time dito guys is inaallow tayo na mag choose ng coffee rose to match your mood and pwede din tayo mag write up ng ating journal entries and interact with the calendar that grows a little bit everyday so yan sabi dito saves data locally and breaks offline and adds sugar to taste so, yun. Pwede pa din siyang gawin, guys, anytime, anywhere. Kung kayo ay feeling nyo malungkot kayo, may pipiliin kayo doon na color. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!